The math calculations for determining the number of acres in the math method. So <clears throat> if we had the northwest quadrant of the northeast quadrant of the southeast quadrant, you could certainly draw that out and figure out how many acres are in it. Or you could use this math trick and this works and the only thing you have to remember is the denominator. Now remember a denominator is the bottom number. So you simply would go four times four times four, do that math, that's 64, all right? So you would multiply the denominators of each one of those. And then you realize that there are 640 acres uh, in a uh, section. So 64 goes into 640 10 times. Therefore, it tells you there are 10 acres. All right, so let's try another one. If I was in the north half of the northwest quadrant, all right? So our two denominators, two times four is eight. There are 640 acres. Eight goes into 640, 80 times. There would be six, there would be 80 acres in this area. And we could do that without having to draw it and take a bunch of time. Now, one other quick comment is remember that this equals and equals plus. So if you had the north half, comma, the northwest quadrant of the northwest quadrant, realize that this right here means and, so there's two sections. This would be two, and this would be four times four. So that it would be two groups like that right? Two goes into 640, 320 times. And the other one was four times four. So that would be 16 goes into 640. Uh, what is that? 40 times, 60 times, 80 times. Uh, should have done one that I would have known the math on. Uh, 40 would be 640. But it said and because of this right here, so there's two groups. So it'd be 320 acres in that first area plus 40 in that second area. So that would be 360 acres total. All right, if you have any questions, email me, Raymond at realuniversity.com.